Not to forget to mention that the Muslims here, even they, they have to bend the Arabic language. The word bism is not exist in Arabic ever. The word bism is what exists. So imagine what they did. So in order to recite it better, because the sound will be very horrible. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So this is what they do. They deleted one letter and they make it Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. But let us focus on the word Allah. You will notice the word Allah here is different from this word here. There is one letter in the beginning is missing. But as you know, if Allah is a name, if Allah is a name, you cannot take one letter from the name. Are you with me? If Allah is a name, we cannot take any letter from the name. We can take letters of a name if there is additional letters attached to the name. You know what I mean? If it's attached, we can take it off. So if I say Mr. Uh, Mr. John, well, Mr. is not his name, you know. I can take it off. John, his name is John, but I cannot take the J in the beginning. I cannot take it. And this is the same in Arabic. If it is in the name, we cannot delete a letter from the name. So you will notice with me here that the first letter here in Arabic, in the front of us, let us, let us highlight it. The first letter here, A, is not exist here. Are you with me? It's not exist. Why it is not exist? Because it's simply it's not part of the word. So what happened? Bismillah, the first two letters are A-L, the word God. So they took them off. In the second name, they took off the A-L totally and they add Li. Li in Arabic mean two. This is a different letter. So what is missing actually is two letters, not one. But now because the new letter they add is have the one of the old letter, which means Li, which is equal to so Alhamdulillah. Thanks to Li. Remember Li? You can add it in the front of any Arabic letter, especially a name, uh, like a description, like a, a you know, uh, a person. Uh, Alhamdulillah, which means thanks to Lah. So the real name of the God of the Muslims is Lah. Now, I do not need to be a genius to tell you that you can go right now and search in Google for the word La, and you will find that it's one of the most ancient names of the moon god. One of the most ancient names, names, not a word mean God, names, for the word God. So, Alhamdulillah, the God of the word. Now, the Muslim, they will try to explain to you, they say, oh, this is a grammar thing, you know, no, you, there's no grammar. First of all, by the way, when Islam exists, there was no grammar for Arabic. And I find it very funny that the one who created the grammar, the Arabic grammar, is not even an Arab. <laughs> this is how smart the Arab are. <laughs> and not only that, the one who added dots and those valves in the Arabic language, he himself is not an Arab too. I mean, this Arabic language is messed up. So this guy, he's a Persian, as uh, as they say. So he came, he said, what the heck with this language? You know, there's a lot of things missing. We can't even read. You know, there's a huge, a huge confusion without those dots. So they decide to add them later. And here you go, you come, you come with, with more confusion because how I will know now that the word, as an example, Rahman means Rahman. If you read with me here, let me zoom in, in the word. You will find a little tiny thing here in the top of the word. Look at this. What is this? You see it? I will, I, will, I will make the same sign in the top of it so you can notice it with me. Do you see it? This little one here? Here, here. Let me see if I can point. I will make a line underneath of it so you know what I'm talking. But the letter is in the top, in the top of it. You see it? 
That little thing, but this is Aleph. This is Aleph. So in written language, we should write it down and the Rahman is not written this way. It should be written Ar Rahman with A. Do you remember the miracle of number 19? Who remember? The Muslim, they made a big news about it, blah, 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 and then we destroy it. And then even the one who came with it, he claimed to be a messenger of Allah. Ahmad Didat, he put it in his book. Zakir Naik, he mentioned it many times. Uh, every, every, every single Muhammadan, he spoke about it, how amazing it is. And then in two letters, in two, in, in two seconds, we can destroy it. Because here we go. There's many letters that did not count. As an example, there's a letter here. They did not count. There is letter here. Do you see the Shadda? Shadda here mean there's a guy, his name is Nu'man Khan. He speak about the miraculous Quran. Miraculous Quran. And he speak about the Shadda, how they are double letters. They are double letters. So each time you see this sign here, you are seeing a double letter. Let me see if I can make it uh, in different shape. Here we go. When you see this thing here, change the color when you see this thing here this is double letter look how many double letter we have and we have it here again you see it and we have the double letter here again so where is the 19 we just added three letters immediately Plus one in Ar-Rahman, plus one in Basim, etc. So that number 19 became what? 20, 21, 23, 24, 25. <laughs> anyway, a Muslim is calling me. No, my friend, not even a single person is texting me. Uh, anyway, going back to our topic. Oh, hold on. I forgot my coffee. I made a coffee and I forget about it. Get me, let me get to the kitchen. So, so just a second. All right, we're back. So here we notice that the name of Allah is different. The name of Allah is different. Let us see, we have somebody, maybe he's a Muslim. Uh, you are calling him? Hello? Yeah, mostly this is Fakira. Fakira. Yeah. The guy who don't speak Arabic, he said the effort to Allah. He translated the Quran without knowing the, the language, and he is the genius. And he is the one who agreed that he's a prophet of Allah, disobey Allah. And he said, This guy is genius. He said, This Fakira said, The prophet disobey Allah as a messenger, not as a prophet. So Muhammad now is too personal. <laughs> Muhammad the messenger and Muhammad the prophet. Muhammad the prophet don't commit sin. Muhammad the messenger, he commits sin. I mean, have you ever heard of mental? Mental. Hmm. You can call me. No, you cannot call me. I want Muslims to call me. Don't send me messages that says I can call you. Only if you are a Muslim. You see, guys, the, the, the mentality of the Muhammadan, not only is awkward, not only it's a drugs mentality, it's a stupid and they have shifranesia. Uh, how Muhammad as a messenger he sinned, but Muhammad as a prophet he don't. But isn't this the same person? So we don't want to waste our time with someone filthy, his tongue is filthy, his mouth is filthy, the effort come in his mouth every two seconds, even he said the effort to his prophet. And then he claimed in his stupidity that Muhammad as a messenger he, do, he would do sin, he does sin. But Muhammad, as a prophet, he don't. As now we have, we have two Muhammad. Muhammad Santa Claus and Muhammad the prophet. <laughs> 
So as you see, the Muslims, the Muhammadan, they have a disability to tell us what Allah means. They don't know what Allah means. And Allah never mentioned in the Old Testament, neither in the New Testament. And we have a proof. We can prove it so easy, not only by going to the book, but by using their own reference. Do we have any Muhammadan is willing to give us a call and take that challenge to tell us why? You know, remember the Muslims, they say that Abraham was a Muslim. Hmm? Any Muhammadan? They say Abraham was a Muslim. Okay, what the name Abraham he used when he was a Muslim to worship Muhammadan? They say to us that Jacob was a Muslim. All right. I'm not going to go in details because if Abraham was a Muslim, then he should promote Islam, which is to lie, to cheat, to, you know, to be child molester, to be like Andrew Tate. But I'm not going to go into details. How come and where we can find that those people worship somebody, his name is Allah. Uh, okay, we have, uh, you know, we have We have somebody, are you a Muslim, Mr. Abbas? Why you don't call me Abbas? Okay, call me, call me, kiddo, you know. Hey, 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 uh, Mr. Abbas, you know. And by the way, Mr. Abbas, do you even know what your name means? You don't know. Mr. Abbas, he said. Uh, you said ill, mean God, not Allah. Okay, genius, tell me what does ilah or ilo mean? In Old Testament, for example, example, Ezra 7.23. Uh, you know, when a Muslim, he squeezes himself harshly. I'm afraid that no mayonnaise still is coming. What about you call me right now? And as long as you mention to me Ezra, you know, I challenge you to call me and tell me who is Ezra and what he said and what he worship. Go ahead, I'm waiting. Can you call me? Would you please call me? Let us see, we have somebody texting. Okay, I'm a Muslim. Mostly this is Fakira, you know, Fakira, she is a bug. She thinks she is a cute. Let us see if it's Fakira or not. <clears throat> Hello? 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 I'm fine, you are a Muslim? Well, yeah, uh, well, I don't know if you remember me. I'm the Palestinian, I had the dream of Jesus. Okay. So yeah, I've been meaning to call you because I'm like, technically I'm not, I, I don't know. I can't access the chat, but I'm still watching your live every day. Okay. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to call and say thank you. Well, technically, I'm like in between, you could say. Hmm. What uh, uh, between mean? Why you don't make decision? Well, no, I I want to say that. Uh, one second here. Yeah, so, I, I don't know, I, I wanted to call, because first of all, I'm blocked, so I watch your channel every day, but I can't even talk in the chat, I don't know, maybe I said something wrong. Like yeah, I'm maybe I to... maybe I blocked you, because sometimes if people, they become annoying, they keep repeating something, uh, like if you spam the text, you might get blocked. No, no, it wasn't that, I think when I was still trying to be Abdul. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but usually we don't block Abdul unless they are doing something not annoying, like keep repeating the same thing. 
you know i, I want to say uh yeah. like your your content really opened my eyes to a lot of stuff but now my family i don't know brother i i told the uh, lisa because i'm in the thing with her in the discord yeah that i would like to convert on live if i decide to do so i would like to do it on live hmm. but um it, it's weird you know i just wanted to say and i could keep this nice and short is slam like when you learn it's kind of like a band-aid ripping off but i feel like the band-aid you know the whatever you call the virus of muhammad <laughs> yeah um it's i think i feel that i take a long time more than others but i definitely know that something's very wrong with the slam and i brought it up to my family and i the type of person i am i just keep studying and studying studying and it's very draining so i took a couple months off now i'm back to watching your content i'm watching it all the time but um do you think that just the bible is the best way to give someone that last push because i i, I mean Okay, I, I feel like I want to say that I have like a Jehovah's Witness kind of understanding. Mm-hmm. And I know you're not a fan of that. Um, I just feel that Jesus is separate from... I, I'm just really struggling with the Trinity, I guess I could say. And then, But you said in the Old Testament that God came to Abraham as a man. So, And then I looked it up and I'm like... So I know that God can do all things, I guess that... I'm you know, in a very like, easy way, if you ask anyone, you will see that the word Elohim is not a singular name. Elohim is a word meaning gods. But all of us we knew, the right. Jews, they believe in one God. Correct? Mm. So how yes. how they believe in one God, yet they say gods. You know? It, well, does, it doesn't and I wanted to say you know, it doesn't like you know, when we say gods, that's mean the appearance of the language, there's gods, not one God. So Elohim from the beginning speak of right. the multi person. God, which is God. So, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, God the Father. And, you know, if you are trying to say, I have understanding of uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, well, Jehovah's Witnesses, they don't have our Bible. They add things is not there. And they have a false translation. As an example, if you go to the book of John, very this is a very simple example from the beginning. They say a God. So, the word was a God. And a God, in English, you know what does that mean? I mean, there's many gods. Right, but this right. is not what the what the what the Bible says in the original manuscript. It says the and the word was God, not a God. So, uh, and if they say there's a God, that's mean oh, even the God is not unknown. Is not is unknown. <laughs> you know, if I say a tree, right. that's mean I do not even know the tree. So this is will bring more stupid things. So there's many cults like Muhammad cult. They add things to other believe like muhammad he copies some from the christian some from the jews some from the arab so allah is the god of the arab messiah is the is the god of the christians uh, but muhammad he failed even to take the god of the jews who is the god of the jews until now and this is our topic today until now we cannot find the god of the jews in the quran like why the quran never mentioned the word elohim adonai right and, right, and you why know? did Muhammad never say he's the comforter? And why did like no, no, why he did not mention certain words? I mean, that's what's what the problem? What is what is short of? Yeah, I, it's very strange. Um, well, and then you know, even my cousins asked uh, something about the Nicene Creed. I'm like, that has nothing. I don't know. I, I want to point something out. Let me see, out. my friend, that, that conference is just to confirm that Jesus was exist from the beginning. It's not about if Jesus was God or not. A group of a Christian, right. a group of a Christian says, this is the argument, Jesus was born in a certain time. The other Christian, they say, no, he is from the beginning. And this is what it proved in the, as an example, John, uh, uh, chapter number one. So, that was not about if they accept Jesus to be God or not. So when the Muslim, the big mouth, they say, "Oh, you know what? Uh, this is uh, this is uh, you know uh, uh, you know this is where the Christianity started." But this is not no the Christian already. They are debating not about Jesus if he's God or not. If he is, was from the beginning with the Father, or there is a certain point where where he was born of the Father. That's all. So both Christian. Uh, let us say parties uh, the heretic one 
and the one who is we are the Christian today uh, they agree that Jesus is divine and he is God so Muslims they lie again when they fabricate such a news and they say such a, a, a thing let me ask you before uh, uh, I finish my call with you do you know what Allah mean well people say it's a name and then they say it's just a name for the singular God like what the word like mean? The Jews, okay, if it's a name, what is it, it have to have a uh, meaning. The actual. What what, I, I, what your parents they said to you as a Muslim, your parents did you they, ever ask them what Allah mean, or Sheikh? My mom was my father passed young, and then my mom was kind of very Americanized liberal, not liberal, but you know she right. just not a huge. Religious okay, person. I want you to do me a favor. I, what about you find a Sheikh? You can text me. They again. told me it's a unique name, by the way. Sorry to cut you off. They they always told us that we don't know what it means. It's a unique name, and then they show you in uh, Google. There's a Allah is written in the clouds and Allahu Akbar. And <laughs> yeah. I don't know. All right. Well, if you can't find me a sheikh, a sheikh should call, to call me. Uh, you can I, just call anyone of your choice and ask him to join us. I just text me, and I will take your call, and then we shake because we want somebody professional. He can give us a better answer than yours. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe I call Sabiel. It's funny because I live thirty minutes. I would love to actually. Why you don't call him right now? Life. I'm too busy calling the other sheikhs. But I wanted to leave you one last point. Maybe, and you know, it is nice talking to you again. And uh, I, I think I will accept the Lord uh, on live um, soon enough. But I think, do you think it's a thing was being like okay? I, I just want to point that that the the, the the they say that all the Jews and. They just don't believe in an Arab prophet. So do you think that it's harder for Arabs to leave Islam because they have, oh, this is our Arab prophet. But it's like. What What do, do you, you mean by very, What do you mean by who is the one don't believe in Arab prophet? Like, uh, OK, like like they, it was said that, OK, you know, the Jews like Muhammad's message, but they didn't like the man and the, the Arab uh, pagans. They like the man, but they didn't like the message, hmm. right? Well, so, my friend, first of all, so so they, they they just blame the Jews and the Christians not accepting Arabi prophet that they're all just racist. Okay. They don't want to believe in the Arabi guy, yeah. which makes no sense because okay. if you guys say that Ismail is the father of the Arab, well, they believe in Ismail. Well, first of all, uh, Ismail he cannot be the father of the Arab because the books, uh, previous books, long before Islam, say clearly that. Uh, Ishmael is the mother is is a son of a mother. She is an Egyptian, correct? And right, then and right. then the Bible says that Ishmael he married from a, Egyptian women. So now he have Egyptian from both sides, the mother and his wife, and his father was Aramic. So how the children they would be Arab? In the top of that, the Quran says that there is no messenger came to Mecca before Muhammad. But if I go in the Quran too, there is something very important. The Quran says. Uh, uh, that Allah he make from the seeds of Jacob you know from the seed of Abraham and he mentioned two names from the seed of Abraham we made the messengers he did not mention Ishmael as we see here in the beginning Okay. If you read with me here as an example, chapter 6, verse number 84, it says, And we bestowed upon who? About Abraham. Abraham. And then from those seeds which he will quote in the front of us, he said, We bestowed upon him Isaac, Isaac uh, 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 and, and Jacob. Each of them we guided before him. We guided Noah and Muhammad here. He go backward to, man, to Noah, which is very weird. And among his brogni, he's, he's going back to who now? To Jacob. You know? David mm. and Solomon, and Job, and Yosef, and Moses, right. and Aaron. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always, it's, it's always stressing the line of Israel or Jacob. Exactly. And then he continues saying, and Zechariah, and Yahya, and John, and Isa, and Elias. And then he continue, uh -huh. and he say, Ishmael. I mean, we are now in the time of uh, Jesus. He go back to Ishmael. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Muhammad now, 
you know Muhammad now is trying to fix it he for, he forgot somebody but he should mention Ishmael from the top of the line you don't say Ishmael in, with, with, in the same line with Jesus you don't mention Ish, Ishmael at the end so now we are right, talking right. about yeah we are talking now about Ishmael but we just we pass Isa we pass uh, 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 John we pass uh, 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 Elias we 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 pass uh, we pass Jacob himself and now you are remembering Ishmael going back to Abraham. So this is here you see that Muhammad is adding things. He write, the Muslims agree, that Muhammad, he don't put Quran, like a chapter alone, like together. He say a sentence, they write it down. And then he say a sentence two years after. They put it next to that. They, they try to find a place for it. This one, what the Muslims, they say, the compiled Quran. The Quran is not a book. So they put it together. Right. So now this is story here is speaking about this. So Muhammad, he said that in one occasion and maybe after two years or three years, Muhammad, he mentioned this verse. So they put it here. And maybe after five years, he mentioned this one. So we put it here. So the Quran did not come this way. Even the Muslim himself, if you go to the, the website, it's called the uh, according to revelation, you will see that this verse and this verse and this verse is not mentioned in that city. Muhammad used to live in the, in the city of Medina. Which means ten years ago, so why it's here now? So, uh, uh, so the Quran is a very confusing book, but we have a very clear evidence from the Quran that the uh, the childhood, uh, or sorry, the the, pri the, the prophethood uh, of Abraham, uh, they are going to be from his children, and they are going to be specifically from. The Jews, specifically from Jacob, you know. Right. So it's 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 almost like. Okay, I try to put my head there. Okay, I'm not. <clears throat> it's not about being Arabian, but it's like it's the Indonesians are like. The Indonesian. Every other tribe in the world knows. Okay, if they believe in Christianity, that all the prophets were. Hebrew. Were Jewish. Okay, so I think that it's just like a very. I guess what I was trying to say is a very, obsession with the. The, uh, the uh, being Arabian and that kind of thing that they just not that they don't want to no, like my friend, the, the Arab themselves no, I don't believe in the racial thing Muhammad in the beginning right. he did not even convince the Arab and there is tons of verses of the Quran showing you how the Arab refused Muhammad so it did, nobody refused him because he's an Arab you know because there oh, is no way the Arab because there is no way the Arab will refuse an Arab because he's an Arab that would be silly right it's, right, like, right, right. it's like saying to me, uh, uh, the Somalian refused you because you are Somalian, but he is a Somalian like them, so it doesn't make sense. <laughs> so, but if you go with me in the Quran, as an example, just to show you an example, in chapter 29, verse number 27. 927, okay. Yeah. Uh, here in the verse, by the way, is the most stupid verse ever. Because if you read the verse but, but without the bracket, which means it's not in the Quran, everything you see in the bracket is not in the Quran. You know, it's Haq. It says actually it's Haq in Arab in, in Arabic, but they are adding it now in English between uh, two brackets. But uh, notice with me here, and we bestowed on him. Here, there's two big bracket and small bracket. Who? Why? Because Abraham did not mention. Abraham is not mentioned, and we bestowed upon him, and then. We skip. There's no Arabic more, and then I is Haq and Yaqub. Okay, now uh. because now we know who is Ishaq and Yaqub, we know we, he's talking about Abraham. But the verse because the one who made it is stupid. Because shouldn't you say suddenly where where is Abraham? Why you jump to Abraham? Where where is Abraham? Here we go. Read the verse before 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 the verse before. There's no Abraham. And then suddenly this guy, he, he's speaking about the children of Abraham, but there's no Abraham in the chapter. This is what we are saying. The wow. Quran is, is compiled. It's like, it's very you know, nice. like somebody, he chopped many chickens, you know, different chickens. And now he is trying to find the leg of this chicken with the other leg of that chicken, you know. The chicken with four arms. Yeah, yeah the four, actually, Muhammad, by the way, he, he once he was eating, he asked for the shoulder of the goat. And then he gave him the shoulder. The Muslim, they say he finished the whole shoulder. Can you believe it? And then he asked for the second shoulder because he liked the shoulder. The guy, he gave him the second shoulder. Then he asked for the third shoulder. The better way, man, he said, Prophet, how many shoulders the goat has? <laughs> but
but here you notice yeah. how Muhammad here is messed up. He said clearly that we made the prophethood, you know, we made the prophethood from the children of Jacob and Isaac. Look what Muslim did. The Muslim, this is only the answer in Muhammad. They, 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 they put Muhammad there. Look, look, look. Where is Muhammad? You know? What, what, what Muhammad? You know, it says, well, kitab, there's no, there's no Quran. If you change the translator, remember, this is chapter 29, verse number 27. Let us oh, go yeah. to different idiot. Hmm. It says here, look, look how much text disappear. I mean, this is uh, the, this is after <laughs> taking all the, most of the bracket. And we gave, and there's no Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, and ordained among their progeny, the prophethood and revelation. Huh. Allah, He made yeah. what? He made from the children of Jacob and Isaac the prophethood. So, where is Ishmael? I don't know, but if I turn Christian, do I have to change my name from Abdul to something else? You, my friend, no, I mean, uh, you can't change your name, it's up to you. But uh, you see, you know, we will be judged by our fruit, not by our names, the Lord said, you know? Right. So you do no, not I, need... No, I, I, you really changed my life. Well, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, actually, if your name is Muhammad, uh, that will be lovely, because that will be a big, uh, you know, big problem for the Muslims. His name is Muhammad, yet he worshiped Jesus. So keep it Muhammad. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I, and I guess I'll leave you. I don't know if you have more callers. And this, like, anyway, I think just the, the Palestinians, you know, like you said, that the, they weren't speaking Arabic there. Okay, whatever. But there's some Jews that even believe that uh, this is kind of a reach, but that Palestinians, they, okay, they've proven that Palestinians have more Jewish ancestry and less Arab ancestry than other Arabs. And I think the term Arab, just in general, is a very... My friend, Palestinian has nothing to do with the Arab. Palestinians has nothing to do with the Arab. 